Today I'll teach you how to upload multiple files to database in Spiritnet. So let's start. This is SQL Server Management Studio and you can see the database script file which will be used to create the database and as well as the database table. This script can be downloaded from the article and also I have placed the link in the description. So the next thing is to execute this SQL file. As you can see the database has been created and also the table has been created. The table has four columns ID, name, content type and data. ID will be the file ID, name is the name of file, content type is the content type of the file which is like JPG, PNG and PDF. Data is the actual binary data. That's it from the database. Now I am moving to the Visual Studio. So let's start. So first I am adding an ASP.NET file upload control. Below that I am adding a button. The button will be used to upload the file. I am adding an on click event handler to the button. Now let's move to the code behind where we'll write code for the uploading part. So here first I am adding the namespaces. The first one is system.data which will be used for data table. The second one is system.data.sql client which will be used for ad.net operations. The third one is system.configuration for accessing the connection string from the web.config file. The fourth one is system.io which will be used for file processing. So now I am adding the event handler for the button. Now I am using a for each loop to traverse through the collection of the files. So first I have created a variable for file name. Here I am using path.getFileName function because sometimes in old browsers the fake path or the path of the local folder is set in this property. The second one is content type. The next thing I am doing is creating the object of the stream class to which I am setting the posted file dot input stream object of the file upload control. Then I am making use of binary reader class to read the binary data from the file upload control. As you can see, I am passing the stream class object to the binary reader object. The input stream is actually the stream object of the file and it will be converted into byte array using the binary reader class. When we want to save a file data in binary format in the database, we need to make use of byte array object. The input stream is converted into byte array using the read bytes function of the binary reader. The read bytes function accepts the content length property. The content length property holds the length of the stream. The next thing I am doing is reading the connection string from the web.config file. Then I have created the SQL connection object using the connection string. Now I am writing the insert query which will be used to insert the file data into the database table. I will be passing three parameters. The first one is name. The second one is content type and the third one is data. I am not passing the ID as the ID will be automatically generated in the database. The next thing I am doing is creating the SQL command object to which I will pass the SQL query and the SQL connection object.
now i am adding the parameters to be passed to the sql query the first one is name to which i'll pass the file name the second one is content type the third parameter is data to which we will pass the byte array so the final task is to open the connection then call the execute non query function and then close the connection which will execute the query also insert the file into the database so our upload part is ready let's move to the aspx page so i am adding a grid view control now i am setting the auto generate columns property to false so here in the grid view i have added bond fill column for name So now let's move to the code behind. Now I am creating a function called bind grid. Then I have created the SQL connection object using the connection string. then i have created the sql connection object using the connection string the next thing i am doing is creating the sql command object and to which i am passing the sql query which will be used to fetch the records from the table and display it into the grid view execute data function of the command class is assigned as data source to the grid view and the data bind function of the grid view is called so here inside the page load event handler i am writing the if not is post back condition so now i am calling the bind get function so with this we complete our programming part and now it's time to run our project and see it in action so as you can see the file upload as well as the button is visible so i am selecting multiple files and i'll click on the upload button as you can see the file has been uploaded successfully thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon goodbye